Yes. Sam, here you are, this big shot, serious, mainstream journalist in Washington, D.C. You of the priesthood, you from the cathedral of serious journalism. You the man who is respected. More, keep going. <laughs> and here is a review of some of the subjects that you have covered on Primetime Live of late. A report on Hollywood's scandalous summer talking about Heidi Fleiss and Michael Jackson, an interview with Fergie, a segment on Bambi Ben Benick, a former Playboy Club waitress who allegedly murdered her boyfriend's wife, an inside look at serial killers, lesbians and how they live, prostitutes. Sam, what happened? Sam, you have lost your soul. That's why we're here tonight. We can't, what happened to the serious news? Cover the international news. Sam, you're too busy entertaining the people. We don't know what these people don't know what's going on. Because you're talking to Heidi Fleiss, for God's sake. Are you exactly through? Yes. I lose track, but I believe Mr. Donahue has just reeled off seven, please correct me if I'm wrong, seven pieces that Primetime Live has done. We have been on the air over four years. We have done over 250 pieces. Now, if your indictment is that of over 250 pieces, you can single out seven that you believe somehow were too popular, somehow too lowbrow, mm -hmm. then I plead guilty. Because the other 250 were pieces about gender discrimination in America, racial discrimination in America. Dr. Robert C. Gallo, who claimed falsely that he had discovered the AIDS virus when it was Luc Montagnier in France. Pieces about waste and fraud in government. Oh, we do responsible journalism. Oh, and you pick seven. seven. <laughs> Sam, why is your answer so weak? <laughs> why is your indictment so weak? No, because look who's asking the question. I was going to say. But remember, Bernie, when you point the finger at someone, three fingers are pointing back at you. I'm not here to denounce Mr. Donahue for the programs that some say are less than cathedral-like journalism. I'm here to tell you that television has never presented more accurate information to more people in the world, not just this country, than it is today. And if you think I came, like some of my brethren, to pour ashes and sackcloth over my head and say, oh, we're so awful, I'm sorry I take this money, it's really beneath me, you're wrong. Yeah. Uh, to which, uh, who is this silent person? Commentary, Mary would want to say what? I am Admiral Stockdale, who am I? Why am I here? <laughs> 